All powerful gods can't be all good, and all good gods can't be all powerful. Batman vs. Superman stars Ben Affleck, Henry Cavill, and is directed by Zack Snyder. Okay guys, before I get started, this will be a spoiler-free review at the beginning, and then after I get my rating, I'm going to talk some spoiler stuff. So I'll give you a warning after I get my rating. Here we go. Holy bat nipples, this movie has had so much controversy over the last week just because of the critics. It's crazy. There's even been news of like these secret midnight meetings with Warner Brothers executives uh, wanting to cancel the whole thing. And I'm not going to lie, this actually made me want to watch the movie even more. Because it seems like anytime there is a big Batman film, there's always some kind of controversy around it. Even the Nolan Batman films, even though they had high Rotten Tomato scores, there were death threats because of negative reviews. It really just got kind of out of hand. And I'm not going to lie, I was a little nervous going in because of all the negative reviews. But then I did some research on Zack Snyder's past films. And his highest Rotten Tomato score is for Dawn of the Dead with, I believe, 75%. So most of his movies don't fare the best with critics. I happen to be a massive Zack Snyder fan. I love The Watchmen. I love 300. Love Man of Steel. So that fact kind of reassured me going into this movie. And I went in with a clean slate. And I'll say this right off the bat. I freaking love Batman versus Superman. So like the many trailers have shown you, the beginning of this movie opens up with the destruction of Metropolis at the end of Man of Steel. I mean, they even use the music cues from Man of Steel. It feels like you're inside a Man of Steel movie at the beginning of this movie. But we see it from a different angle. We see it from Bruce Wayne's angle, and he is trying to get to the rubble to save uh, the people of Wayne Tower, or one of the towers that he owns. And immediately after this scene, we see that Bruce Wayne is pissed. You can kind of see where he's coming from. Uh, the world is really kind of pissed at Superman. And I think that tone is perfect for this day and age because it seems like every story you read on the internet has two sides. There isn't one universal opinion of just about any topic these days. And I like that this movie shows you all those different angles and you can kind of see where the people are coming from. You know, for every kitten that Superman saves, how many people are going to die because of it? Now this movie has so many things going on. I can see how any director would have a tough time trying to organize all the pieces to make this movie work. And I gotta admit, I loved how it all played out. Let me talk about what I really loved about this movie. Uh, first off, I just love all the characters. I've heard so much talk about Batman, Batman, Batman. I'm a big Superman fan, love Batman too. But I hear very little talk about Henry Cavill. And you know what? I gotta say, he is really great in this movie. And there's a lot of people saying that this is mostly a Batman movie. I disagree with that. I think this is kind of split right down the middle. I mean, you see a lot of Batman's side, but you also see a lot of Superman in this movie. You know, a lot of the events that happened in this movie, most of the events happened because of Superman. But I gotta give Batman his due. Ben Affleck, great Batman. And he takes a different approach than the Batmans that we've seen before. I mean, nothing's going to shock you or anything, but I love the way he plays Batman. He plays him like a very mature, a very aged, a very weathered and war-torn Batman. And there's a point in this movie where he is just hell-bent on killing Superman, taking him out, because he sees him as a threat to the modern world. And let me talk about that fight. Uh, the fight between Batman and Superman is just great. I loved it. I love the way that it played out, and I love the ending of the fight that I'm not going to talk about right now uh, because there's some spoiler stuff in there. But Zack Snyder knows how to film action. The action in this movie is just excellent. Uh, the fights between Batman and Superman and also the end fight with Doomsday. That's not a spoiler if you've watched the trailers. I was worried that Doomsday was going to look uh, really, really bad in this movie based on the trailers. But let me just say, don't worry. He looks amazing. And they only showed you just a nugget, just a tiny nugget of what you see in the final movie with Doomsday. And finally, I want to talk about Lex. This might be the most controversial subject of this movie because everybody's been saying how Jesse Eisenberg is going to be a horrible Lex. I even had my suspicions and I loved the way Jesse Eisenberg played Lex in this movie. I had kind of gotten tired of the previous Lex Luthers uh, with Gene Hackman and Kevin Spacey. Not to knock them. They did a great job for what they did, but I think we needed a modern Lex, and that's what 
Jesse Eisenberg did with this role. He was almost kind of like the Joker at times. He was just crazy. And the way a few of the scenes play out directly involve Lex Luthor. He is a major, major part of this story. He is not just uh, a side character. A lot of things happen because of Lex Luthor. So in the end, guys, I'm going to say I love this movie so much. It surpassed my expectations. Some might say that it is a slow build for the first hour. Uh, honestly, that didn't bother me, though. I, I enjoyed every second of it. I'm going to give this movie trap in an eye. I love it. It's going to be the movie to beat for me this year. And I know a lot of you guys aren't going to agree with me on this. I mean, obviously, it got some negative reviews. And I will say I am a DC fanboy. I love DC movies, especially the, the Dark Knight, Nolan movies. So I am a little biased. But like I said, I make no apologies. I loved this movie. Okay, guys, now we're going to talk some spoilers. So if you haven't seen this movie, I highly recommend you turn it off right here. After you've seen the movie, come back and watch my spoiler talk and then get down in the comments and we'll have a discussion. So the first thing I want to talk about is Lex Luthor and that whole Batman versus Superman fight. And one of my big questions going in was, what's it going to take to get Superman to want to actually kill Batman? And I love how that whole story played out, how Lex kidnapped Martha. He basically says to Superman, hey, you either kill Batman or fight Batman or we're going to kill Martha. And so you can you can understand where Superman's coming from with that situation in front of him. And it is interesting that uh, Batman's mother's name is Martha and Superman's Earth mother's name is Martha. So that kind of played into the story. At the end of that fight, you know, Batman, he is wanting to kill Superman. He's got him dead to rights. And Superman just yells out, Martha. And I just, I love the, the emotion of that scene. And really this movie kicked into high gear once that fight happened, once Lex put that chess piece into motion. And also I got to talk about the doomsday fight and the death of Superman. I did not see this coming whatsoever. Now, is he really dead? I don't think so because of what we saw at the very last frame of the movie with the dirt uh, hopping off of the casket. But Still, I mean, I choked up a little bit. It, it was cool to see them actually go that far with this movie. Really stay true to what happened in the comics. And finally, I'll say I really loved all the winks and nods to the Justice League movie that's coming. Especially seeing uh, a little nugget of the Flash. I thought that was really cool. And I like the actor that they got playing Flash. Uh, I can't remember his name right offhand, but I know he was in Perks of Being a Wallflower. And I think he's going to be a good Flash. And Jason Momoa as Aquaman, we really only got to see just a small little segment of him. But I'm kind of glad they did that because I didn't want to overcrowd the movie. It had enough going on as it was. And also, I really, really loved Wonder Woman in this movie. And they kind of kept her in the wings of the movie throughout most of it until the Doomsday fight. But she really kicked ass in the Doomsday fight. And I think Gal Gadot was a perfect choice for Wonder Woman. I had my suspicions at first, but yeah, I thought she really delivered. So anyway, guys, that's the end of my spoiler talk. And looking forward to reading your uh, thoughts in the comments. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. And Drum Dumb out.